love about Thelma Shalafu is we're always thinking about how we can be inventive, how we can be a little bit better every single day. You always should be asking yourself, how can I be a little bit better here? How can I make the world a little better here? How can I be a better friend, a better student? What can I give to the world? When I first came to Thelma Shalafu in grade seven, I was a really scared person, really closed off. But now looking at grade nine, I've had so many opportunities to grow and I think Oda Pemsawak helped with that. It's teaching me to always be accountable for myself and always know what I'm capable of and always take the opportunities that I need in order for me to be successful. On any given day, there's so many different extracurriculars, athletics, clubs going on. Everyone is so dedicated to making this an amazing place. Every day is like, what are we going to do that's better today? In grade seven, I applied for this social media and broadcasting club and I think that really helped me develop new talking skills and becoming more of a non-closed off person. Every single student and staff member in this building has a place. Our house system is a place where students will be sorted into a specific house and they'll stay in that house for their three years at Thelma Shalafu. I think the house system changed how I thought junior high was going to be because of all the connections that have been made because everyone looks at junior high as some sort of hierarchy where grade nines are on top and grade sevens are all the way at the bottom but with our house system a grade seven could easily become friends with a grade nine and learn things from each other and experience new things that they would have never experienced. And we also have points that we use to reward exemplary behavior such as respect or love or humility. This is like a year-long Harry Potter style competition but what we've actually found is that there's less competition between houses and more collaboration within houses. So here at TCS we have this Cree word that was used by Thelma Shalafu called Ove de Pemsawak and we really use it to help our students ultimately understand that they're their own boss, they're in the driver's seat. Ove de Pemsawak means so much to me. It teaches me to show up on time to practices, to be there when I have made a commitment. It teaches me to make sure that I'm in charge of myself and I make sure I'm where I need to be, when I need to be, that way I can have a better future. Being your own boss, you find different areas of the school, whether it's athletics, arts, music, drama, leadership that fit your style. What I really like about it is it teaches responsibility and ownership. Students are not being told by the teachers how to behave, what to do, what's right, what's wrong. Students are in that position to hopefully reflect on Ode to Pemsawak and, and figure it out for themselves. Before I joined all these athletics teams, I was a very shy and closed off person. And through sports, I've developed my personality into more of a outgoing person. And I have learned how to commit to something and stick with it. So 20 years from now, when students reflect on what they've learned here at TCS, we hope that our students have learned how to be grateful. Having gratitude makes you humble, gives you a positive mindset. To put that word yet at the end of your sentences, right? I can't do this yet. I think when you try something new, there's something that changes in your brain. You're like, oh, I tried something new and it didn't go bad. Maybe I should try this again. And then you're going to go try another new thing and another new thing. And eventually you're just going to become a more well-rounded person. There's a certain like inventiveness that exists at our school, partially thanks to the STEM program, but also because we're creating something new, the kids know that they have a say in things too. So it's always like, how can we be creative? How can we take this further? Having this experience at Thelma Shalafu and this idea of being inventive and being a part of growing something will help students in the future and help them reflect back on this idea that like you are in charge of your own life and you control your own destiny. STEM has changed me as a learner in terms of failure because now I have a completely different perspective of it. At first I was so worried for failure that I avoided every risk. I would never participate in anything. I would never raise my hand. I would never say anything. But STEM has taught me that failure is okay because in order to move forward we have to develop ourselves and we have to fail. People who don't fail aren't going to get anywhere because they don't know what's wrong and they think what they know is right but sometimes it might not be. Our goal is to produce a learner, a member of society that is more well-rounded in the way that they can solve a problem, much more resilient uh, in the sense that they can try something, realize that it won't work, go back and analyze what it was that 
they created in the first place, create a new iteration to try again. I think the part I love most about STEM is mostly the challenges. These STEM challenges that we're given are really open-ended, and that means that the STEM program gives their students a lot of freedom. And these students, they're coming up with so many diverse solutions, and it's really cool at the end of each challenge for all of us to come together and be like, wow, I never would have thought of that. When we do our STEM challenges, we have all of our students working together at the same time. And having all of our students there means that all teachers get to know all students and we get to build those relationships and connections that we wouldn't have gotten to do in a traditional program. Well, junior high is an interesting phase, right? Students are going through so much in such a short amount of time. And so empowering our students to really advocate for themselves and believe in themselves really helps them see their path kind of be formed for them. What's so special about being in junior high is that you almost get to create who you want to be. And with all the opportunities we have here, there's so many different directions that you can take yourself. These opportunities will serve them in the way that they'll be able to look at the world and see that there are so many choices in front of them and they never just have to be one thing and they can always start over and they can always take a different direction and that they have the confidence to do whatever they want in life.